Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared, and today we are talking about how temperature affects your knife. Now, I got this topic watching somebody else's video, um, and I've known about this for a while, and it did take me a little while to understand this. Now, I learned this because it was a knife company that that talked about this subject, and I had seen some of these issues, so it uh, became apparent to me after listening to them and they had sold a knife. This was a long time ago when I heard this story. They had sold a knife that they made and the knife went to the person that they sold it to. And when they got it, the centering was off and they complained, they complained. And you know, the, the, the owner of the company knew like, they were like, man, I know it was centered. They sent it out, you know, well, then, then when they got it back, when they got it back, it was perfectly centered. No play, no nothing. So they just packaged it back up and sent it back out. The owner got it. It was back off again. And th they went back and forth. And then the, the maker of the knife realized that what was happening was the knife was expanding. So when it was expanding, it was making those tight, heavy, like those crazy tight tolerances go out of whack because all the parts that the knife is made out of are different materials. So they expand at different levels. You know, titanium will expand so much. Steel will expand so much. The different parts, depending on how thick they are, you know, everything's going to expand a little differently. So what would happen is that all of a sudden the thing would expand. There'd be more tension on the pivot or less or something like that. And it would wind up getting play or being off centered. So it's something that, you know, some knife or custom knife makers have to put into consideration when making their knife is expansion, you know, and, you know, the tolerances and how the knives are going to expand. So talking about this, you know, when we mail knives, I, am, I have a brother-in-law that works um, in mailing and, you know, he's, uh, he explains that the trucks that the mail are in when we ship stuff are so hot in the summer that it's almost unbearable. I mean, it is crazy hot. You got to think these are metal boxes that are, you know, that hold your stuff. So they get so, so hot, especially in the summer. And then in the winter time, they're very cold. So then you got to think, you know, the boxes, they get flipped and everything else. So, Oh, this came up in my mind and a thing to talk about because Lefty EDC um, checked out um, these three knives. And when he got it, one thing, you know, he said that this didn't free fall drop. He said it was one of those control drops. And this thing absolutely free fall drops. So what I imagine happening is it just needed a little KPL because in the package, you know, that I sent... The, the inside is fuzzy, right? So it probably sat upside down in a box inside the truck, hot as can be, and the, the, the oil probably leaked out and then got sucked up by the fuzziness of this. So sometimes, you know, you just need to open it up, put a little KPL on her, and they'll get right back to great action. But sometimes you're going to have a little bit of expansion where you might have to because maybe the pivot it winds up being a little bit tighter than the person that set it before they mailed it or the, or the company or whatever. So you might have to barely adjust the pivot a tiny bit to make it back to the phenomenal action that it had when it was originally sent. Now this one, um, I, I forget what he said about this, this knife, but he talked about the action on this knife in particular, and this isn't about the, the expansion, but I want to bring it up is a light switch knife. You have to light switch this because with a knife, that's a flipper and a front flipper, you can't push button it because the front flipper has to come around. But if you light switch it, that's just the way the knife goes. It's an only light switch kind of knife. But in that case, it's extremely reliable flipper, very easy, very smooth. And it does, 
drop down pretty good. Now, I don't think it dropped down is good for him. And I'm guessing maybe the KPL thing or maybe the tolerance is expanded just a little bit. Um, we do, you know, we've been pretty, at the time when I sent it, we were pretty cold. Um, and I know in the house temperatures change, you know, in a house, it's not very cold, but in the trucks, when you're mailing it, you know, the, I'm just saying, the materials do expand and you got to take that into consideration. Sometimes you might have to take a little pressure off the pivot or possibly tighten it up. Also, the build quality on this Tucson is really, really nice. It's so easy to take apart. It, I mean, you just take out the pivot and everything is held in. You just take out the pivot. This, you, when you take it off, it gives you an opening to work on everything. And it has a little washer that holds the bearings so it's super easy the easiest knife to take apart and put back together you just pop this out pull out the blade clean it off slip the blade back in and drop the parts right back on top super easy extremely well built very very strong build i mean this thing is incredibly strong the lock face geometry is really nice everything is rock solid on it and yeah very very awesome Now there's times where we get knives and they have a little bit of play and all you have to, I just had one the other day, showed up with, um, and that was a Civivi. Maybe it was, um, maybe it wasn't tight from the factory, but all I had to do was just do a little turn of the pivot. It hasn't came loose since. So my guess would be that it just, the temperature changed a little bit and it just needed to be tightened a little bit. So we have to take into consideration or even knife makers have to do that. Now, this one, he said, wasn't um, a guillotine, which, no, it's not, but it does drop straight down. It is more of the slow, controlled drop, but it's so satisfying. And if you want to drop shut, you give it any influence at all, and it drops straight down. But if you don't, it's very controlled which I love, love that type of action. But, um, you know, adding some KPL to the pivot, to the bearings is going to, or an oil period is going to increase the performance of a knife as soon as you get it. Um, especially in the mail, if the, the oil leaked out or got sucked up by the packaging or whatever, but the tolerances might change depending on the knife, what the materials are made out of, you know, so you want to put that into consideration when you do get a knife that if you do have to adjust it a tiny bit, it's not necessarily the company's fault. It just might be the temperature change in parts expanding and contracting. When I worked in, you know, working siding, fascia, and gutters, we have to put that into consideration when we hang siding or vinyl siding in particular when you hang vinyl siding vi vinyl expands a lot in the heat and it contracts a lot in the heat so if we hung siding in the summer right then we had to hang it tight so that in the winter when the siding shrinks the siding on your house you know the panels that go on the walls of your house when they shrink they won't fall out because they will literally shrink so much that they won't even uh they won't even be as big as they need to be to to fit also the grooves on them for us to nail them up they're long grooves they're literally made to expand and contract around that nail because the cuz since it's on a house wall the sun could beat on it the wind and uh, frost and snow will, will you know all of that will make it change so much through the seasons that it has to be able to fluctuate the its entire life of it being on your house 25 years whatever it is and if it's not hung right which i've seen this many times you will literally see them buckling and peeling off of your house. I can't tell you how many times I've seen uh, people siding literally buckling off. Like it's basically unsnap. It's not even snapping, but it's 
expanding so much that it's literally just buckling out of the sides or it's contracting so much that it's literally shrink and is just popping off in places. So, but yeah, I thought this was a cool topic to talk about with you guys because I've noticed it, um, I don't know about a lot in knives, but it's something I always put into consideration when unboxing a knife or, you know, anything with a knife that sometimes a little turn of the pivot might be all it takes, or, you know, you might have to break it in a little bit, flick it a couple times, put some KPL on it, allow it to, to, you know, I guess to break back in a little bit, you know, it might not take very long. And like I said, sometimes it might be just a little adjustment of the pivot, loosening or tightening, tightening. It just depends. So there you guys go. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys watching. I know this is kind of a weird topic, by the way, this is the Tucson TS 195 integral, the silverback amazing action. I mean, this thing is a fidgeter's dream. Um, you can front flip it, you can light switch it, you can reverse flick it, you can thumb thumb flick it, you can even, you can pinky flick this thing. I mean, it is, you got amazing action and integral, beautiful frag pattern, M390, Warren Cliff Blade. This is the Shiro Goroff F3R titanium liner lock white carbon fiber titanium clip that is such a good clip the clip works so good nice big stop pin the action is absolutely amazing it does have a a very controlled hydraulic action that does drop down pretty quickly actually it's not really slow or anything um, I think in his video, it was pretty slow and I'm guessing that's just because it needed to be adjusted a little bit, maybe, or maybe I think it was just KPL. I don't know, but you can see with a little bit of encouragement, that thing just falls shut. But with no, none, very slow and I love it. Okay. Next is the Riet K2 false shut action. Nice detent. Very, very good detent. Nice size flipper tab. The the leverage on the flipper tab is really nice too. And Rudy, you know, Riat's of great quality. Their action is amazing. Nice uh, Japanese Tanto hollow grind flat ground titanium frame lock. This one's an S35VN. Great, great knife. Last but not least, the Shiro Goroff F95 Frag Titanium Frame Lock with the Frag Pattern. Amazing action, M390. It is a little bit of a faster drop than the F3R. Still nice and controlled though, which I do like. It's not quite a fall shot. If you give it any encouragement, it definitely just falls. But if you don't, nice and controlled. Very, very nice. Love all these knives, and I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.